this video, we're going to take a look at how you can process assembly bills and materials within DIA systems. To get started, you'll want to come to Production. Under New, you'll want to select Assembly. Once you've selected New Assembly, you'll then be presented with the Assembly screen. You'll want to start off by selecting your location, typing in your SKU for the product you wish to create, Once you've done that, it will load all the necessary information. You'll then want to check your work in progress accounts, finish good account. You'll want to enter a quantity for which you wish to make. You can also use the maximum quantity field, which if you refresh this button here, it will, dear will inform you the quantity of which you can make based on raw components in stock. We then have a work in progress date, so that's the date for which we want our work in progress journals to be issued. We have our completion date for when this should be completed by. We have our batch slash serial number, so if we're using batch or serial traceability, this is where we can enter the, the batch number or serial number we wish for the item to have. And we can also enter an expiry date as well if we're using FIFO traceability. Scrolling down now, we can then select Load Bill of Materials, which will load the bill of materials we have previously created on any other um, bill of materials setups. So we have all our quantities required, all our products required, and also any overheads as well and their expense account listed. From here, you can then select Authorize, which will take you to the next screen, which is Pick. On the pick screen, you can either manually enter the components that you've had visible on the previous screen, or you can select auto pick, and DIA will automatically pick the items that you have available for this build. From here, you can then select allocate, and that will then allocate the components to the assembly bills and materials and remove them from stock. Finally, you can then click complete, that will then complete this assembly order and mark the assembly as completed in the top corner. To explain the other fields that we have visible in the assembly order, we have manual journals, which is where you can manually journal any other costs that were included within this process. We have attachments, which is where you can upload or post any documents that are relevant for this build. We have logs and attributes where you can view any steps that this process has been through. And finally, financials, which displays any financial transactions created during this process. At the top of the screen, you are able to save, go back, print any required documentation during this process. So on the pick step to print any pick lists. We can also clone this assembly should we need to make multiple of these. And finally, if you have the automation module, you are able to assign tasks at this point and assign people to this job itself. Thank you for watching and that's how to process assembly bills of materials in DIA systems. We will also have videos on auto assembly and also disassemblies as well.